The sea is calm once again. Look how blue that is. I would swim in that. But, uh, I don't know. Peace is just within the grasp, but things keep coming up. In fact, I actually have to bring the one and only here. Not just for fun. No, the one and only has to refuel. Again, it's... I haven't really showed it much on... That's a tight fit right there. Oh. Nice. Oh, oh. We can fix that, right? We can fix that? Oh, yeah. Excellent. As I was saying, uh, the one and only has to refuel. Again, it's... The one and only has gotten to a point where it is just a complete petroleum gas guzzler. And I have to keep making trips back and forth. Um, just, you know, to put fuel in the tank. And that takes too much time. Way too much time. In fact, it's better I show you actually on the map. So, in the map here, the one and only is currently docked right here, right next to this little resource cube. But, in order to refuel everything, uh, the one and only would have to make quite the trip back all the way to square one, where the true resource lies. 1.2 million. Quite a lot. And of course, these have a lot as well. But, it, that journey takes too long. It's impractical. Impractical, improbable, I'm not going to do it. Either way. At least at these speeds. The one and only is currently capped at going about 25 meters a second, which is pretty fast compared to a normal battleship, I think. But it's too slow. Far too slow. The standard has been set higher. The bar has been raised. And with that, I think it is time to enter what I call phase two. Things will change. For the better. I assure you, they will be for the better. It's going to be a optional thing. It's not going to be reliant on this new phase of operation. But, well, let me show you guys. Let me... Yeah, that's what I'll do. Sit tight. I think it's about time. The one and only sheds the puny uh, water limitation, so to speak. The one and only is going to transcend to above the sea. But, weird part is with that, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't. <laughs> I kind of found something online. I, I know a special somebody has uh, done this already with their battleship, but I'm doing mine for a completely different reason. I, I have to. I basically have to. The one and only is too slow. It It's no good. I, the one and only can't be slow. How... How's the one and only going to chase down the remnants of all our enemies? It's just not possible if we're going, you know, 20 meters a second. Let's see here. There's that. All right. Man, this thing. How many do I want to put on here? Four? I got to make it look good, too. This looks like crap right now. Don't worry. I'll be sure to make it good. If it even works. If. It should work, hopefully, on paper. This is theoretically possible, but is it practical? Probably not, but I live for the impracticality. I, I live for this. This is the kind of thing that, ooh, this is, this is why From the Depths is great, right here, exactly this. But, hey, I'm not even sure if it works yet. All right, all right, commence the test. Turn on the engines. Ooh, hey, that it's it works. It works. I don't know why it's. Is it going sideways? Where are you going? One. Uh oh. The one and only. Bring my ship back. What is going on over there? What's going on on that bridge? Oh no. All right. How about now? Oh, it's doing something. Uh, oh, no. Did I? Oh, I reversed him, I think. What is going on? No, no, no. Oh, yeah. Okay. Please. It's been three hours. It's literally been three hours. This should work. Please. 
Please work. Please. Please. Come on. Okay, so far so good. Stable. Do the thing. Do it. Come on. Come on, one and only. I know you want to. Do it. Do it. Hang on, wait. I know what's wrong. Is that it? <gasps> yes. Yes. Oh, my. That took... I really don't know what I'm doing, I think. Oh. Okay, that's not right, but... Oh. Will you correct yourself? Come on, one and only. I know you can do it. Do the correction. <gasps> oh, it's correcting. Perfect. Oh, yes. Oh, this is perfect. Oh. Oh, it's so it's so much faster. This is exactly what I need in the campaign. No more will the trouble of you know spending hours sailing the seas just to run the engines. Now it is greater. Bigger? Well, not really bigger, but better. Definitely better. Faster. This is going to be primarily a transportation thing. It could be used in a pinch in combat. Um, I'd rather not, though, because it's, it's very expensive to run engines like this to lift a whole ship up. But it's smooth sailing. Check it out. Relatively smooth sailing. All it took was three hours of my time, maybe four. I wasn't keeping track. But, hey... The bow is still pointed straight ahead, hopefully towards victory, so that has not changed. But now, well, I think it's time to dive right back in. Hopefully the engines aren't too fragile or anything uh, in combat. If they break, that'll suck. But it is time to go straight back in. With the construction complete, so it seems, I think it's finally start, the official start, of phase two of the one and only this has been planned all along i've always wanted to make it fly but honestly i didn't think it'd be this difficult but oh there it goes i'm doing a trial uh trial flight so to say i'm having the one and only go down south and hit these three resource cubes and back up just a quick test run it shouldn't be uh oh yeah it shouldn't be too much of a problem Helps me uh, see exactly what kind of problems that we're having with flight. Hmm. Yeah, 100 meters a second. Not bad. That's pretty good. Quadruple the speed. That's quite the increase. Um, not sure how much that fuel... It's already guzzling so much fuel, I can tell. Hopefully it's worth it. I think it will be. Time is fuel at this point. So... Saving this much time is quite a breather. So I'm going to just... After the trial run, though, I think it's going to uh, be time to go straight into the Great Talons area and see what kind of nasty stuff uh, we can do. I don't know. These are the Steel Striders. What is that? Megalodon. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. I think... Hmm. Yeah. The Megalodon, from what I remember, is a nasty, nasty ship. Might be the toughest in the game, question mark? We might have to... Well, yeah, we're gonna have to fight that at some point, unless someone else sinks it first. No problem. I'm not worried. Moving out. Hang on, let me fix this radar tower as well. Moving out, moving out. Flyby repair. Excellent. Moving out. Oh, yeah, here we go. I think it's time to start. Moving out. The... Offensive on the wait a minute. Moving out. Moving Real out. Real question. Moving the out. one and only is so fast. Do you moving out? Hmm. I think moving the out. one and only can just go straight through moving out. To and take out their base without Yeah, they can't catch. Oh. Here we go. Oh, wait, this is them. This is the base. The one and only just ran through their entire line. <laughs> They're coming. Yeah, moving to location to defend. Hey. I'm not about to take up this, you know, it's completely undefended. What are they doing? They one and only just barge straight through. <laughs> wow. All right. 
time to begin. Let's see exactly. Let me see what kind of situation we have. Well, for, we're falling from the sky. That's fine. The jets aren't made to be used in combat anyway. I think they're, they might be too fragile. That is a lot of missiles, though. Ah, yeah, missile defenses, immaculate. Every single one is getting shot down. Just kidding. A few slip through. That's okay. What, what exactly are we... Uh, this is their base, huh? This is the Great Talon's base. Well, as always, it looks badass. I do like the look of this. But unfortunately... Oh, yeah, I saw pieces of rail guns come out. Yeah, there's nothing. What are they going to do? I'll tell you what. They're going to surrender right now. I'm going to stop firing on them. And let's start firing on this bad boy. I'll tell you right now, I don't... They, there's no way they expected this. I didn't even expect this. Their, their base, their main base was here. I didn't even... I thought it was further north, but hey. It works for me. You know, the Great Talons may think they're safe above the sea like this, but they've got another thing coming. And it's coming at them pretty quickly. And at an angle. The one and only is here. Say hello. Oh my god. Uh, don't hit him too hard, please. Oh, that's fine. We're good. Yes. Just force it in. Just park. Park nicely, please. Helipad's right down there. Don't, uh, don't scrape it up too bad. God, look how big the one and only is compared to this thing. The bow is just smashing down straight on top of it. Uh, uh oh. Th this is fine. This is fine. Uh, boarding successful. Let's get out of here. God, I, I can feel the game slowing down pretty hard right now from all this. It does not like the collisions at all. Time to end this quickly. Yeah, look at these t look at these guns they have. You even got your own little recliners here. Well, sunbathe right under the the hull of the one and only. Dear Lord. Let me see AI. I think it's right down here. I think the one and only was pointing me in the right direction to begin with. Let's just. <laughs> wow. Let's see. I see rocks. Oh, yep. Here's some AI right here. Is that it? Did we grab it? <gasps> oh, we got it. Receiving. That's it. Why isn't the battle over? There's something left, I think. One and only. Get a move on. Get, get off of our new new prize. Get get out of there. And hopefully we don't break anything while doing this. Uh, start the engines up. Carefully now. Don't don't damage it too much. That's good. That's good enough. Just uh oh no 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 start him up start him up. Oh yeah we're fine. We're good. We're good. We're good. Perfect. Just shave off a tower. That's okay. Yeah, that's fine. We're good. We're good. Perfect. Nice. All right. Now use the rear guns. Open fire on that thing. I thought it was dead. Yeah. Another resource gatherer, I think. Platform. Pretty cool, though. It's a little heli gatherer thing with missiles. And it's gone. Excellent work. Uh, I, I, guys, I don't think it was it. I don't think it was it. I think the Great Talons have multiple of these. Uh... Oh, no, no. Uh, okay, new plan. I don't know how many they have. I'm not trying to fight them right now. I think one and only, you're, you're going on a blind hunt right now. Just chase them down. I don't know where they are. We'll, we'll, we will run into something eventually. Uh, God. I don't know how far. I mean, the map goes all the way up here. There's no way they're all the way up there, right? As you can see, what I've been doing, um, well, since I can't build a radar in not my territory, I've just been going up and down 
uh, here, just the grid. So far, there's been one per column. Oh, and here's another. Perfect. Uh, let's see. Tribe of the Rusted Ram. Sure. Have you seen uh, the thing that has brought the demise of the other three? No, four? Yeah. Yeah, it's been four so far, I think. Other four bases? Because you're about to. Yep. Missiles drilling a hole straight through. Oh, yeah. Well, a whole turret fell off down there. Surely they won't survive a volley of this. I think the missiles are... Yeah. Do they survive? They survive. Interesting. Very tough, huh? Let's get rid of these guys. Engaging now. Oh no. The one and only just lost a turret. From what? What did that? Are you serious? Hello? It must have been from the top. It must have been those aircraft. Dropped a fat bomb on the deck. Maybe. I don't let's let's see. Anything? Hole? Hole. This is the hole. Right through the deck. Yeah, okay. Get rid of those things. Eh, oh god, yeah. Let's not afford any losses like that again. Losing a turret is... <laughs> hate it. Losing a turret is disgusting. Those things are expensive. Those th th Each turret is, I think, 250,000... Each turret is worth more than the ships they're throwing at me. So that sucks that they just did that. Okay. I think... What, what was this? Five? Surely this is the last one, right? Five? That's another good rounded number. Hopefully that's okay? God, e even if this isn't the last one and I have to go back for more, uh, I'm gonna have to send the one and only back to port, back to the harbor because look what they've done. They took out a turret right through the deck. Ugh. I'm not very, I'm kind of frustrated about that. Those turrets are not cheap. Along with the semi-severe bruising all over, um, death by a thousand cuts is kind of what it looks like. Each hole is very, very shallow, but there's quite many of them. And then a apparently whatever cut through the deck went through three meters of metal. So that's, that, that's cool, but hopefully the end of them is near with this. Hopefully. Cross your fingers. Please. Please. Please don't come back. Please be done. Yes! Alright. Mighty tribe of the rusted ram has fallen. The hardened steel of their mighty warships truly rusting in the bowels of the ocean. With their last defiant act, the tribal leaders deploy the Scorched Neater Protocol. Uh, what? Uh, within minutes, you see many small blips on your radar. The distinctive signal of incoming nuclear missiles. Race for impact. What? Excuse me? What is going on? What? Scorch Neater? What the heck is this? How many? What? I can't. That's like a dozen ICBMs. Oh, they're surrounding the one and only two. Uh oh. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not ready for this. Stop. Wait a minute. Laser AA. Laser AA, please. You haven't been used much, but you're being used now. Please. Come on. Are you working? Oh my lord. What is this? Oh! A one, two. They're all hitting. Oh no. Please. Please. Have mercy. Oh. There's more. Oh, what is straight up and straight in? Oh. The one and only is... Oh my... Stop. Please. Please. The one and only is about to get cut in half. Uh, uh, no. No. Please. Not like this. That's not fair. There's no door to the bridge anymore. There's no stairs to the bridge anymore. What is that? I didn't know they did that. I didn't kill a single one. Are there more? There's one more. This is a damaged one. We must... Okay, we've shot one down. Are you kidding me? What? What kind of... 
Okay. I don't know how many ICE EBMs that was, but listen. The one and only is still intact. Uh, barely. Hanging on by just the sheet of metal on the hole. And I guess the side here. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Come on. What? They can... They just that easily? They... They so easily just went through the one and only's defenses. The laser A8 took one. Took one ICBM out. Oh my god. Wow. Hey, not dead. Not dead. Not dead. The jets work. Propellers are working. Excellent. Good. Yeah, the engines I engines are intact. Engines Most of them are. They're mostly intact. A couple of uh, one missing piece. That's fine. That's like 80% of the power still there. Time to sail back. I don't even... Can the one and only fly still? We're missing an engine. Uh, uh, kind of. Okay, yeah, no. Not fit for flight. Just revert to boat mode. That's fine. Yeah. Everything, uh... It's turning night. Concealed the, uh... Journey back home. Everything is fine and dandy on the one and only. Until you turn around. You can... Yeah. See all the way down straight through the ship. God, what? I... I swear the last time I fought the Grey Talons in a solo campaign, they they did not do that. Maybe they did. Maybe I'm... Um, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. That's fine. The brain of the ship is intact. So, as long as the bridge remains, we remain. Guiding the one and only ever so gently across the sea no matter how much of it is missing okay guys moving out bad news that's not the end of the great talons they're still here what i don't moving understand out. this moving out do you think no you know moving this out. might be a bad idea this is more like a stunt but i'm going to have the one and only find if moving there has to be another base that's the only reason they're here i think the, there, there has to be another base, because they're still here. So I'm going to have the one and only seek it out and destroy it, despite being in this crippled state. You know why? I'm confident. The one and only? What? The, 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 they? These guys? These tribals? They're going to sink the one and only? Uh, give me a break. There is no chance. Just continue. Find the last one. There it is. All right. Lifting. Yeah. Tribe of the Iron Storm. You know, if these guys have ICBMs, Lifting. then there's a problem. Then there will be a problem. But if not, then we're good. Good and delicious and so cozy, warm and tight in the one and only, even though it is crippled. We don't talk about that. Just the... Oh. Yeah, hopefully them AI works. Yeah, okay, problem. The one and only isn't shooting. I have to take direct control. Yeah. Direct control of the cannons is fine. I think it's regarded as cheesy, but... That's... I'll, I'll just do it this once. Just because, I mean, the one and only seems to be on leave vacation. Whatever you want to call it, that's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll take the helm over for once. The one and only can sit back and just sulk, I guess. Oh, there we go. It's, it's falling. Surely that's it, right? This must have been the sixth base, if I recall correctly, nu numero six. Wow. Well, I preferred if they just had one, like every other faction, because each, I mean, this base, each, uh, each one of these could have blown the deep water guard out of the water by itself. They have six of them. Is this not the hardest faction in the game? I would consider this one of the hardest, because what the hell? Look what they did. But even then, the one and only is still very, very capable. Look at this damage. Look at this damage and tell me that a normal ship could do this kind of performance. Still, one and only just wiped another base. Hopefully the last one. Cross your fingers. Hopefully. I'm crossing my fingers. We got some minor damages. Cannons are intact. Missiles are intact. Yeah. I, 
I am very proud of the one and only. I, I am the proud father of this vessel. And I'm telling you right now, this is the finest vessel of the seas. One of... There's probably... I mean, there's some campaign ships that look better, I think. But this is still... Oh! Excellent. Beheading a Hydra. The tribes of the Great Talons war is almost a hobby. For millennia, the tribes have warred with each other, with no victor staying on top for long. When one tribe fell, two more sprang back in its place. Only on rare occasions did the tribes unite against a foe, as they have done so against you. Lucky me. Uh, for you, cutting off one head was not enough. You insisted on cutting them all off, every tribe, every leader. All of them now fall into your prowess. The people of the Great Talons now scatter to the winds in your domination. Ending their wars could be seen as an act of heroism to prevent collateral threats to the nearby nations. Others would say it's an act of genocide as their spectacles are brought to extinction. Regardless of the thoughts, this, uh, this has been your path to peace and war must be removed as peace is, is peace if, if peace is to reign. Yes, surely that is the end. Wait. Oh, okay, that was the diplomatic thing. Wait a minute. What is this? Peace settles over Nieder. You look ahead and you're newfound, newfound allies. I don't have allies. I'm neutral. No. No. Alliances can falter. Yeah, they better. I've got a mission. Her, okay. Jeez. This scared the crap out of me for a second. I thought that was the end of the game. Moving out. Ah. Uh, you can see the sun shining through the window. It's a familiar sight. We're back at home. Back where the comfort is. Well, at least I think so. It's definitely a lot more comfortable here. Weather is nicer too. Ah, excellent. The damage has almost been fixed. Almost like nothing ever happened. There's still a turret missing, of course. Um, that has not been fixed yet. The experimental AA still is down. But that's okay. The one only has exceeded my expectations especially with nuclear um the nuclear option being chosen by the great talents because they're they're sore losers obviously so you know if they can they can go fuck themselves there's only a handful of factions remaining i i count i believe three the steel striders twin guard and the scarlet dawn the one I am worried about right now, though, is the Steel Striders, just because I saw the Megalodon on the horizon, which, as far as I recall, is the toughest ship in the game, or one of. So, well, that is something that lies in wait, lies in store. But I don't really think it's gonna... I don't know, I don't think it can compare. The one and only feels like the Megalodon, but the superior version, the big brother. And it can fly! Isn't that something? So, that will bring today's journey and today's adventure to a close. Almost death. Almost death. The one and only almost just got sawed in half by those things, but it's water under the bridge. It never happened. As the sun sets, so does any grudges against the Great Talons, because they don't exist anymore, so what do I have to be mad about, right? But that will be all for today's adventure. I hope everybody enjoyed. I sure did. This was a fun one for me. And in the next episode, I think the Steel Striders are next. Either that or the Scarlet Dawn. But regardless, all that will be waiting for the rise of a new day.